Good day everyone! Today we are going to perform clot retraction time. So how is clot retraction time performed? There are two methods to perform this one. The first method is Stefanini method. This is how this procedure is done. First, collect 5 ml of non-anticoagulated whole blood and transfer it in a clean test tube. Or, just make use of the blood sample you collected using the red top tube. The next step is to place an applicator stick or rod in the tube and cover it with a stopper. In this case, our stopper is a Nesco film to put the stick in place. The next step is to incubate the tube at 37 degrees Celsius. We have to take note of the clot retraction that takes place after 1, 2, 4, and 24 hours. After 1 hour, report the degree of clot retraction as normal or complete retractility, partial retractility, poor retractility, or very poor retractility. We also need to assess the firmness and quality of the formed clot by pulling the stick or rod and place the clot across a paper towel. A clot is stable if few cells will come off and it will remain intact. Take note that after pulling the stick or rod and removing the clot, if the volume of the serum remaining is half the volume of the collected blood, then complete retraction has occurred. Record the results as to the degree of retraction and the quality of the clot observed, whether the clot is stable or unstable. The next method is known as the McFarlane's method for clot retraction. This method is a semi-quantitative method. For this method, you still have to collect 5 ml of non-anticoagulated whole blood using a red top tube. Place a coiled wire or an applicator stick into the tube and cover the test tube with a Nesco film. Place the tube at 37 degrees Celsius water bath until clot retraction is observed. Clots formed after the first hour may be removed by passing an applicator stick around the inside of the tube and allow the tube to be incubated again for another hour. After a firm clot is formed, the tube is allowed to stand at room temperature until clot retraction is observed. When retraction happens, carefully free the clot from the sides of the tube by removing the applicator stick with attached clot. Measure the volume of the serum left remaining in the tube by transferring the sample into a graduated cylinder using a pasture pipette. Compute using the formula percent serum is equal to the volume of serum divided by the volume of whole blood multiplied by 100. Report the result in percent and also do not forget to evaluate the quality of the clot formed following the procedure in the Stefanini method. And there you have it for the different methods on how to perform clot retraction time. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.